So let's begin. So the first card for January is the ring. So there's some contract that is going to be signed. Um, you've got the friendliness card coming in, which is a two of cups here. So this could be a marriage contract. So you might well be entering into a marriage. Uh, if you know, you might be getting married during this time. Um, and uh, it might be somebody, um, you've got the uh, knight of coins over here. So somebody that you work with, um, you know, uh, this could be somebody, um, this could be you as well. Uh, but uh, with this ring followed by the friendliness card, this could well be a marriage. On the other hand, you could be, uh, you know, signing contracts to do with work. Because you've got the Knight of Coins over here. Uh, so maybe some kind of work contract. Maybe you're starting a new job. Um, and, you know, you're going to be meeting really uh, very supportive people. And it's going to be in a situation that you really, really love. There might be some kind of a decision that you have to make about uh, whether or not you want to take this job on or not. So, um, you know, it could well be that you even meet somebody, uh, you know, at this time during this period uh, and that could end up uh, finally becoming something to do with marriage or you know uh, a long-term committed relationship so it looks like something really good coming in for you you seem to be working really hard with this uh, knight of coins over here and if this is not you then you're definitely going to be meeting somebody uh, who is a very hard worker and uh, probably an earth sign person and it's going to be somebody that you meet at work uh, the eight of uh, gabriel talks about movement so this could be some travel international travel now if it's you getting married here and this is uh, about marriage then this could be a honeymoon that you're taking but it is definitely about um, some kind of travel or some kind of news coming in uh, a lot of quick movement going on on over there in january so in february you've got uh, the journal over here the existence card the six of teacups and the three of aerial so the journal it's talking about studying about uh finding information looking for things uh documentation it could be even writing a book so there's something to do with information that you will be dealing with in February and the existence card is a manifestation card so it's the magician card so you'll be working pretty hard and using your mind a lot so it could be that you're communicating a lot especially with the journal communicating a lot of information uh, you know existence is you know even seeing trying to do some research just to find out why you're even here uh, that kind of thing uh, but it's also communicating with a lot of people and a lot of inspiration and ideas coming in uh, with this card you can see there's a shooting star there and a lot of hope coming in. Now, you're a bit upset about maybe a past relationship that has broken up, but something has upset you quite a bit in this month. And you've got the six of teacups. You're crying and thinking about the past too much. You've got somebody that, that helps you, so you've got a shoulder to cry on. Uh, this might be your your current partner, or it could be somebody new coming in to just give you that high, high, that guidance or that helping hand that you need, like I said, that shoulder to cry on. Uh, so this could be somebody coming in and being very supportive. You've got the Three of Ariel over here. So uh, this is the Three of Pentacles. Uh, another focus on work over here. Do what you love. A time for great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in, corp in a cooperative manner. So this is a focus on work. So you're going to be doing a lot of research. It's going to involve a lot of information, maybe spending a lot of time by yourself and try not to be depressed and upset about what happened in the past. You need to let that go and go forward. With the Six of Cups also, this could be somebody returning from the past. So this could be a good old friend coming in for you, maybe a past love. So maybe somebody that you had a love interest to coming in uh, into your life and maybe you know relieving some of the stress and unhappiness that you feel as well. But well, all in all, it looks like it might be a concentrating you concentrating a lot on work and focusing a lot on your work. So in March, you've got the fox, you've got participation, the four of coins and divine guidance. So the fox is dealing with somebody that's pretty cunning, uh, somebody that you know can pull the wool over your eyes. They tell you what you want to hear, but they don't really mean it. So, you know, watch out for deceptive people that you're working with. Uh, this could also be like a short-term job that you might be working. So you could be, you know, moonlighting, doing something that's very, you know, um, short-term just to accumulate some finance uh, because you might be a bit, you know, financially uh, skint over. You've got the four of coins. So participation is working, uh, you know, it's the four of rods. So a very successful uh, work life that you're having and you're managing to collaborate with a lot of people, exchange a lot of ideas. You can see participation and you can see four people sitting around a table. So meeting a lot of people, a lot of business meetings, um, you know, or maybe even um, a lot of social gatherings as well with a participation coin uh, card. 
Then you've got the Four of Coins over here, which is talking about a bit of uh, problems with finances. Uh, there might be some pressures on your relationship because of the financial, um, you know, implications. Um, so, uh, you know, just um, budget. Make sure that you are starting to budget now so that you don't land up in problems um, by that stage. And, you know, having to uh, tighten your belt, really, uh, and make sure that you are saving money. Uh, and you can see these two accounting coins over here. And you've got the Divine Guidance card over here. So uh, the search for the meaning of life, consider an alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So, uh, you know, here it is, you know, uh, this is also about information and learning and maybe you are, uh, started a course and you're learning something new at the moment. So this could be about study. And this could also be about getting some kind of spiritual guidance or some kind of emotional guidance from uh, you know, people around you, even going on the internet and researching. So it's about information coming to you that will help you uh, get on with things and reach the next stage. You might even be getting some financial advice uh, as well. So getting some kind of, um, <coughs> excuse me, some kind of guidance coming in for you there. So in April, you've got the mice, uh, the dream, uh, the seven of candlesticks, and you've got the theory of Gabriel. And this is going on in April. So the mice talks about gradual loss. So make sure you're watching all your finances as well. Because with the mice, you know, things eating away um, at your resources. Uh, so I need to just check all your bank accounts, um, you know. And, um, you know, you could also be dealing with people that are gossiping a little bit behind your back. And, you know, affecting your reputation to some extent with the mice card. Um, then you've got the dream, uh, which is the six of... Um, um, cups over here so uh, you know it's talking about having visions uh, thinking about the past um, you know uh, maybe um, not really quite ha being very grounded about uh, you know things that have happened in the past so uh, you know maybe romanticizing the past uh, with this the dream card so you know it, it's about illusion and delusion and about dwelling in the past or thinking that things were much better in the past than they really were so you need to ground yourself and bring yourself back to the future you've got seven of candlesticks over here so you might be dealing with somebody uh that is not really very um nice really and you might need to show them the door uh, stand up for yourself and um, tell them to get out of your life. Maybe they are interfering too much and it is time for you to take a stand. They might be inter interfering in your relationship uh, and they might be causing a lot of distress. And so you do need to tell them to back off. Um, you know, you can see this woman showing that woman the gate. So it might be somebody that's really a nosy parker and interfering too much and you need to really um, uh, get them out of your relationship as such. You've got the Three of Gabriel over here, which says prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step of optimistic plans that turn out uh, to be be um, to be as expected or better than expected. So with the Three of Gabriel is working with a lot of people and this could be in your work life. You could be meeting a lot of new people and this could also be that you, sh you are traveling. So you could be um, at a phase where you're taking some kind of overseas travel or travel that involves your work. Uh, and or you could be meeting a lot more people or new relationships coming in with this uh, new offers or new prospects coming in with this Three of Gabriel. That's in April. So in uh, May, there's a lot of focus on your home life, on your house. Maybe you're buying a new house or uh, you're doing repairs to a house, but it's, uh, it's uh, circumstances or things that involve a home or your house or your security. You've got going with the flow, so this is the Ace of Cups. You just need to stop putting up a resistance and, you know, something new might be coming in. So you just got to accept it and embrace it and go with the flow. You've got uh, the Lord of Teacups over here. So the, there could be somebody coming in here. With the Lord of Teacups, it's usually, you know, it, it looks like um, a water sign person and, you know, they're very, very emotionally available to you. So, you know, you can rely on them. There's somebody that gives you new advice or good advice and with this going with the flow, if you carry on along that route, you know, you end up meeting this person and this could be somebody that you really connect with. And you've got the nine of Ariel over here. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for beautiful things. So with the nine of uh, Ariel, you know, achieving everything, you've got the rainbow over there. So this could well be a relationship that comes in. It might be somebody that you meet through your work life because it's followed by the nine of Ariel. And it's going to be very successful, this relationship. But you need to let go and just, um, you know, focus on it. Um, don't try and 
uh, anticipate things, but just let it happen naturally. And then it looks like it's going to be quite successful. So a possible relationship coming for you in May. Now in, um, in June, you've got the tree, the lovers, uh, the four of candlesticks. Wow. And you've got the knight of Ariel over here. So with the tree, it's about family life growth. Um, it's definitely about, um, you know, um, setting down roots and getting stable and, uh, you know, good help. Uh, but uh, it's about generations and involving, uh, you know, setting up a situation where you can have children. So it's about family, the tree, and, and that seems to be the focus of the month. You've got the lover's card over here. So, you know, somebody that you meet, a very, very strong sexual attraction. So this person that you meet in May, you know, you've developed quite a long, a strong sexual attraction for this person. And this could well end up being something committed. You've got the four of candlesticks over here. You can see a wedding going on over here. So this is the four of rods card. So this lover's card, which is a very, very strong a love connection, might well end up being a marriage. Um, I can't read this any other way. Uh, the lover's card followed by the candlesticks. And then the tree talking about family, it looks like, you know, you enter into a relationship that could end up uh, becoming a marriage. And you've got the Knight of Ariel over here, which says uh, there's much to accomplish. Um, make a very de detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. So the Knight of Ariel is your card, actually, which is uh, Virgo. So you're already coming into yourself. You're moving away from past uh, difficulties and, you know, you're, you're building stability over here. So you could well be entering into a marriage or a long-term relationship uh, going on in June. So congratulations if this is going to be a marriage. Uh, it looks like, you know, if you let go and go with the flow, it seems like things are going to start working out for you. Or you're going to have a long-term relationship coming in. So in July, you've got the child, harmony, um, the eight of coins, and the two of Raphael. So it looks like, you know, you've started something new. So this this uh, relationship in June could have ended up in a marriage or something long term. And you're starting now a new phase in your life with the child, a transformation phase. You've got harmony, so end of old difficulties. It seems like you and your partner are getting along pretty well. You are very connected intellectually and also very, uh, you can see there's a connection to the heart chakra here. So, you know, very connected on an emotional basis. So a very deep love coming in for you. And uh, you've got the eight of coins over here. So, you know, you're working very, very hard as well, focusing on your work, multitasking, doing lots of things and pretty busy during this month of July. And you've got the two of Raphael, which is like the two of cups, which says two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. So if this is, you know, if this is a relationship that you're already in, it's going to just get better and better and better. And it's going to end up with a two of Raphael, a very, very strong soul connection. And, you know, if you have any problems within a, a long term relationship, that will sort itself out in July. So things really looking up for you and it's going to everything is going to be new and fresh, almost like, you know, you were given the second chance. And so August comes in and you've got um, you've got the clouds, past lives. Uh, the Ten of Coins, and um, you've got the Ace of Ariel. So it looks like, you know, there might be a little bit of, uh, you know, no relationship is without its problems. So you might have a little bit of problems going on within your relationship, uh, maybe uh, a little bit of misunderstandings going on. You've got the past lives over there. So this is about the star card. So you have to look for guidance and, uh, you know, ask for some uh, spiritual in intervention within this relationship to help you get through any kind of problems that you are facing. Uh, you've got the ten of coins over here, so uh, you could also be ending, uh, you know, an old work cycle. So you could be changing jobs at this point, and this might be causing some st instability. Uh, and you know, this is uh, maybe you are even moving home over here, uh, and uh, you know, uh, this is the thing that is causing a little bit of cloudiness within your relationship right now. But all in all, it looks like a good, you know, a good family situation over here. But you know, and you're all are dealing with it. Uh, you've got support from the family to deal with the situation. And then you've got the Ace of Ariel, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So it's a new beginning. So this could be an end of an old job and you're starting a new cycle over here. It's your lucky day, new resources of money, time or support, a change of job or a promotion. So it seems like you may have, you might be ending an old, an old job. Uh, and this causes a little bit of, ha you know, you get a bit um, upset about it or, or, you know, a, a bit um, not feeling too confident. Uh, you need to ask for some guidance. Uh, and it looks like 
uh, you uh, something new coming in at the end of August and it's a new job or promotion or money coming in. You can see this woman sitting with a lot of money here. So it looks like whatever problems that start off um, in August tend to resolve itself and you know um, it whatever uh, implications it has on a relationship it looks like it will sort it out as well. So in September you've got the mountain, uh, the source, the hanged man and the eight of Raphael. So the mountain is about obstacles that you are facing or any challenges that you are facing and you need to overcome. So you will be facing some kind of problems in um, September, but you will be able to overcome these. You've got the source card of year, which is the ace of rods. So you do have the energy and you have the spiritual guidance to actually overcome these obstacles that are coming your way. So just don't give up hope. Make sure that you are going full steam ahead. Um, the hangman shows that, you know... Um, things are a little bit um stuck right now so energy is not moving and you're feeling uh you know a bit out of uh sorts of here out of you know like you you don't have control over the situation uh you do need to pray for some guidance and you need to pray for some help to overcome these obstacles and with the eight of Raphael, there's something better waiting for you do what you know is right for you a spiritual quest so it looks like you might end up leaving uh, you know, something that is not working for you. So whatever problem you are facing, it looks like you might walk away from it with the eight of Raphael and move on to something better, uh, leaving behind things that are, are not serving you. Or if it's a job situation, it's not serving you, then you might walk away from it. If it is a relationship problem, then it looks like, you know, uh, if you're not making any progress on, on it, you might end up uh, abandoning it and moving forward in September. So in October... You've got uh, the key, uh, sorrow, um, you've got uh, five of teacups and a change in your life. So the key is finding solutions to problems and you do have the answers to you and this is the thing that's going to open doors. So it looks like in um, in October you're sorting through a lot of problems uh, and trying to deal with a lot of problems. You've got the sorrow card, which is actually the nine of swords in this card. So very a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, expecting the worst case scenario. So this might be unfounded. It might be just what's going through your mind and expecting the worst to happen. So try and be positive. Try not to be so anxious. Uh, you know, it might not be a loss, but it might just be what you're making it out to be. So it might be just dealing with that circumstances causing you to be feel sad. You've got the five of teacups over here. So maybe this is... Uh, maybe there is a breakup of a relationship. If you're in a long-term relationship, this could well be why you're sitting with the nine of swords and sorrow. The five of teacups is about, uh, you know... Um, being disappointed it's about being let down in a relationship it's about crying it's about a relation a loss of a relationship and you've got the five of teacups coming over here so they could be well if you're in a, in some kind of relationship that is not working out maybe you've made up your mind uh in september that you know with this eight of Raphael that you don't want to deal with the circumstance anymore and you want to walk away to something much better and this is what you do you decide that this is the key or the solution is to actually walk away from it and so you abandon that relationship and this causes um, you to get upset about it. Maybe you find that you can't really uh, change it. Now you've got the change of your life, a sudden revelation that offers you freedom, break free from break free from procrastination, enhance, um, embrace opportunities that uh, change brings. So um, it might be that you got some kind of news or insight that has caused you to uh, you know, dissolve that relationship. Maybe there's something that you find out about your partner that you were not comfortable with and you've decided that, you know, it's not something that you want to deal with and you want to uh, end that relationship. So a big change coming in October. There's a big shift of energies. There may be a lot of upset. It might be that you are ending a relationship that is no longer serving you. So um in um november it looks like you're at a crossroads so you have to make some kind of decision a big decision to be made at this month and there's a lot of success coming in for you so you've got the six of rods over here you can see he's riding a tiger and it's a success card so you're going to conquer any kind of problems that you've been having for the last few months you've got the seven of quills over here watch out for people that are deceiving you uh you know a there could be loss via theft. Uh, you know, you could be, uh, somebody could steal something for you. So watch your belongings. Um, and watch out for people lying and cheating or people saying things to you and, you know, uh, not really speaking the truth. So there could be some really deceptive people that you're dealing with. You've got the page of Michael over here, an ex exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Uh, review contracts and documents thoroughly. Now, if this is 
um, preceded by the seven of quills, make sure that you're reading those documents because there could be something deceptive within any documents that you are signing. Um, on the other hand, if there is theft, you could be calling in the legal system to sort that particular problem out. But there's something to do with the legal system here with theft or uh, dishonesty and then um, having to uh, legally sort it out with this page of Michael calling or talking to somebody of a legal nature to sort it out. And if you're signing documents, make sure that you're reading those uh, documents very carefully because there could be some discrepancies within it and it might lead to, uh, it might be dishonest, uh, whatever's going on over here. But all in all, you're quite successful during that month and you know you have some kind of big decision that you have to make in November. So in December, you've got the owls in a voice, uh, the nine of coins and the two of Michael. So the owls is about friendships and, you know, uh, communicating with a lot of people, uh, a lot of news coming in as well. So uh, this is, you know, and this could also be about gossip. So there could be some gossip going on around you as well. But generally, you know, uh, communications or news coming in for you. You've got the inner voice card, which is the high priestess is waiting for things to happen, waiting for things to change. And also information that has not been revealed to you. So maybe the owls are going to bring in some information that you are waiting for. Well, the birds and whatever happens you're very very successful in December so uh, you achieve everything that you want to financially you've got your independence your comfort money's coming in a good job stability and you're going to be able to relax uh, and just enjoy life a bit you've got the two of Michael as well it is all better if you just make a decision um, over analyzing a problem find some compromise so there could be that you're dealing with somebody that's a bit difficult uh, you might have a difficult decision to make and it might be something that is official or legal or something to do with, you know, um, making some kind of, um, it's usually a legal decision with this two of Michaels, two of swords, and you're holding back making that decision. So some choice coming in at the end of December um, that you have to really make it from a very unemotional point of view. Uh, maybe you have, maybe you'll be choosing a new job uh, or trying to communicate some information to people, but it's something to do or maybe trying to sign a new contract uh, with regards to work because it's preceded by the nine of coins so maybe this is a financial decision or decision about uh, you know changing jobs or or signing new contracts um, you know, make sure you're reviewing every everything and with this inner voice you know listen to your intuition wait for the information to come to you um, and you know wait for for things to happen there is divine timing in place uh, with the empress card and there is uh, you know, usually with the Empress card, there are things that are not not have have not been revealed. So before you make this important decision, I think you should research it uh, first before you do that um, and find out what facts are missing, what information has not come to light yet, uh, because there is some information that's missing. Maybe you're waiting for it from the owls. This is wisdom coming in, uh, but you need to actually find that information before you make a decision, um, because it could have some financial implications as well. So, but all in all, you know, just very financially independent, very comfortable and, uh, you know, very relaxed uh, in December.